He is a very hard man to buy for, my dad. I, you know, I obviously have my normal commitments to buying him presents, and it's, it is tricky. It feels a bit wrong asking someone. You feel like you've let them down if you say, what do you want for your birthday? But that's what happened with me and him this last year. I, I gave in, I said, what do you want? Um, and he said, oh, it's fine, just get me a pullover. And I said, all right, anything in particular? Have you seen anything? You got your eye on anything? He said, well, yes, actually. I think Prince William has grown up to be a very well-presented young man. I quite like his style, so maybe one like his would be good. Really? Okay. Surprised me. I'll go with that. Is there anything that you've seen him? You want to show me a picture? He went, well, actually, he's on the front of a magazine right now wearing one that I really like. It's all right. What magazine? And when he told me, I thought, hello, I wasn't expecting that. And there it is. Hello, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I thought, OK, I think I can do this. You know, I'll try my hardest to get the right jumper. Now, it's, it's worth saying, incidentally, even though you could all go to the Hello Magazine website for free and within two or three or four mouse clicks, you could be looking at this cover. And even though, if you'd all walked into a news agent's when the magazine was current, you could have seen this cover for free with your own two eyes. Despite all that, for me to actually show you this cover now in this context, legally, I am supposed to get in touch with Hello and ask them for permission. Uh, so I have asked, and they've said no. <laughs> However, I've looked into it, and apparently I am allowed to show it to you if it's for the purposes of criticism and review. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> if... If I offer an opinion on how well designed it is, or if I compare it to other magazines of the type, or what have you, then that's okay. So I just want to say that this is shit. <laughs> that is... Right. There's no getting around it. That is one of the worst magazine covers I have ever seen in my life. It looks like the sort of shit that would be designed by paranoid, overprotective idiots. <laughs> It's a shame they've rather forced that out of me. I'd have preferred to have kept my opinion to myself, really. Don't like that. But... <laughs> anyway, anyway, that is the jumper that my dad asked me to get, and I did my best. In fact, I did pretty well. I've got it with me here. Um, see what you think of it. I think uh, I've done a pretty good job with that. Um, I think. <laughs> that... Who wouldn't be happy with that? Who? Who wouldn't be happy with that, ladies and gentlemen? I'll tell you. I'll tell you who wouldn't be happy with that. My dad wasn't happy with that. <laughs> Refuses to wear it. There is, there is no pleasing some people, is there? Honestly. Honestly. No pleasing. Now, in many ways, I'm sure it hasn't escaped your attention, I am quite like Prince William. In many ways. Uh, like him, I controversially married a commoner. Um, <laughs> There she is, there she is. Uh, although, unlike Kate, she also married a commoner, so maybe we're not that similar. I, and, and let me say, incidentally, I'm not being uh, insulting to my wife when I say commoner. She is an amazing woman. Uh, I love her with all my heart, I really do. I, I will tell you this about Mrs Gorman. She makes a mean lasagna, she really does. Um, I, I felt that. You reacted, you all flinched. You're one of those audiences, you did that thing, you're trying to work out where I'm going with things, you all thought you're getting ahead of the game. You all did it at the same time. You all heard the word mean, and you thought, yeah, there's going to be a joke there. Yeah, I know what he's doing. He's, he's going to be using the word mean in the sense of parsimonious, yeah? He's going to be suggesting that Mrs Gorman scrimps and saves on the luxurious ingredients within her lasagna, but goes to town on the cheap bits, making a thin, gruelly mix for her dish. That isn't what I was doing at all. You judged me incorrectly. You judged me for a joke that you did in your own head. So I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> No. When I said she makes a mean lasagna, I was using the word mean in the sense of average. You know, I've... <laughs> I've had better. I've had better. I've had better. I've had worse. <laughs> it really is. It's right there. It really is a very, very acceptable lasagna. It really is. Very, very acceptable fare. But while Prince William and I... And that really is a terrible cover, isn't it? Really. While Prince William and I... <laughs> Prince William and I, we do have a lot in common. Um, you know, for example, uh, myself and Mrs Gorman, we got married about a year before he did. Um, like them, we were married on a Friday. Like them, presumably, because it made the venue cheaper. Um, <laughs> but while we do have a lot in common, there are some differences as well. Um, I might be a few years older than him, but I think I'm a bit more modern in some ways. Um, for example, I wear a wedding ring, you can see it there, uh, and he 
controversially does not. Now there are reports that he will not wear a traditional wedding ring. It looks like the royal ring bearer will only be responsible for one piece of jewelry when Prince William and Kate Middleton say their I do's. This finger is bare, and it's staying that way. What do you think about that? Should the prince, who may one day be king, wear a wedding ring? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> that was Fox News at the end there, being all extra perky, and tell us what you think. No. You're the news. You tell us what's happened, and if I feel like it, I'll tell my friends what I think. <laughs> the media is obsessed with this idea of us having our say. We've never had more say. We've also never voted less, but that's by the by. Because for a brief moment, all over the world, people were asking that question. And all over the world, or certainly all over the World Wide Web, people were climbing on their high horses and having their say. Which is useful for me, because I have a, a little hobby. I like to collect the more eccentric comments I find littered about the internet, and I like to give them new life, which is what I've done with people's comments on this particular topic. Ladies and gentlemen, I've turned them into something that I like to call a found poem that I would like to perform for you now. I, for one, am disgusted by them both. If I was Kate, I would refuse to marry him over this. It is totally chauvinistic on his part. If she goes along with it, she is a weak and pathetic woman. <laughs> she is a doormat. And that's exactly what the royals want. <laughs> Another doormat. You mark my words. She might appear on a commemorative tea towel. But in reality, she is just a commemorative doormat. <laughs> A commoner commemorative doormat. <laughs> well, you can bet your bottom dollar that she'll be wearing her wedding ring. She'll be wearing it every day to remind us all of what she's achieved. You mark my words, she'll be rubbing our noses in it for the rest of her days. The man that lives next door to me doesn't wear a wedding ring. He is Chinese. <laughs> I just hope he doesn't go the way of his father, Prince Charles of Wales. He wears a signet ring on his pinky. It is most unhip. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen does the same. And so does Alan Titchmarsh. For crying out loud! Of course he is not going to wear a wedding ring. He is a prince, not an estate agent. I don't understand all the fuss. I wear a wedding ring, but I take it off when I'm on the pull. <laughs> William is just being more honest. <laughs> poor Kate, poor Kate. It's all going wrong for poor little Kate. First, he gave her a second-hand engagement ring. <laughs> And now this. <laughs> Their marriage is doomed. <laughs> poor Kate. Poor Kate. It's all going wrong for poor little Kate. If men no longer make their wives wear chastity belts, I can see no reason why women should insist on their husbands wearing wedding rings. <laughs> My husband doesn't wear a ring, and neither do I. Especially in the summer. <laughs> The hot weather makes our fingers swell. I thank you. 